Kenya has increased the drilling of geothermal wells in its Rift Valley region as it seeks to add more outputs to the 1,000 megawatts it already harnesses from the Earth's crust. CGTN's Enoxicolia looks at the country's geothermal power potential and how it plans to go green in its energy sourcing. Meet Dr. Anthony Wanyama, a geologist with Kenya's geothermal company atop a ridge in Meningai Caldera. Staring down towards the steaming landscape, he has a clear view of Kenya's natural beauty and a key plank of the country's industrial future. He watches plums of steam rise from a newly completed well. Besides him are meandering stalks of newly installed pipes that will be carrying boiling hot water and steam from wells that were drilled deep into the volcanic terrain. These green pipes are an indicator that a power plant will be constructed here to generate energy for use by millions of Kenyans. Among items to be installed are steam-powered turbines able to generate 70 megawatts each and transformers to set up the voltage of the electricity being injected into the national power grid. You can see here a number about over 50 wells have been drilled here using uh, Kenya-owned rigs. It is estimated that the caldera has the potential of dishing out over a thousand megawatts of electricity. A megawatt can power about 800 homes. So you can imagine how many homes can be powered with uh, uh, 1,000 megawatts. The East African country has been investing heavily in geothermal power generation, which supplies low-cost, low-emissions energy. The government's initial goal was to ensure universal access to electricity by the year 2020. Even though that vision was not achieved, Kenya has made great strides in geothermal power generation and development. Kenya has the potential to generate 10,000 megawatts of energy from Mother Nature using geothermal sources. Most of it is located along the Great Rift Valley. Now, this is the Menengai Caldera. It's part of the Great Rift here in Kenya. Now, the Kenyan government has continued to tap into such resources, the steam that is found in the volcanic rift for green energy. Currently, I can say we are doing about 1,000 megawatts of the 10,000 megawatts. I mean, it's at 110. Over 120 kilometers from Meningai, workers from the geothermal development company are busy drilling wells. The area is called Silale Hills and has a potential to generate 3,000 megawatts of electricity. Drilling is an art. These workers are toiling day and night to ensure the resource that lies underneath is fully tapped. Exploration to identify more fields began earlier this year. So we do exploration, we do uh, 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 productive well to check whether the viability, how is it? It's like water. I mean, sometimes you say the, there is water inside here, but uh, you drill, you don't get the water. It's, so it's the same. So and you go almost five kilometers. The country's first geothermal power plant was set up at Olkaria in Naivasha, Kenya. Currently, Kenya supplies energy to only a third of the country's population. But according to Energy Minister Charles Keter, if Kenya's geothermal potential is harnessed, almost every Kenyan will be connected with power. Enoxicoli, CGTN. Nakuru Kenya.